That's why in the Eucharistic miracles, the blood of Jesus Christ and on the shroud is type AB negative, which is the universal receiver. Christ receives all, all hearts who, are, who seek him with a good heart are, are repentant and contrite for their sins. And in this little gospel, we really have the answer to what plagues so many, so many souls in our time, and all time, really, and that is sin. And not just sin, but vice. When souls are trapped into vice, into sins of habit, sins that are repetitive, and there are many today, and the devil has so many tentacles to trap souls and to break them on their natural level even, through drugs, drug abuse, alcohol, and then, of course, the vices that are out there and so available, uh, vices of um, lust, vices of revenge, vices of pride and uh, envy, and uh, all these capital vices that, that are chains on the soul, like a truck, when it tries to spin out of the mud, it just goes deeper and deeper and deeper and gets plastered with mud. And uh, in some parts in the snowy regions, the, some snowstorms are so heavy, so thick, that the cars stuck on the road get completely buried. They have found people dead in their cars who were just buried on the snowbanks as the plows came by and just buried them. And that's like vice with the soul and so many souls. We are, we are all lepers spiritually. We're all sick. We're all, we all breathe this air of the modern world which is, which is contagious with liberalism, modernism, atheism, the pride against God, the rationalism, naturalism. Man can live happy in his house with his cars and without God, without God, as if God doesn't exist, as if Christ was not tr the, the, the true God who became flesh. And that is the, in the, in the, that is the Masonic ideal of the Western world. Modern democracy, modern liberalism, the, the whole idea of separation of church and state condemned so frequently by the good popes of tradition, by the full authority of the Holy Ghost. And the, this, this poison of religious liberty which says all religions should be nice and sweet and drive to your town and choose the church of your choice and you see the Masonic Lodge and you see the Protestant church and the Baptist church and you see the, the Mormon temple and the Latter-day Saints, and oh, and there's the St. James Catholic Church too. And that's completely false, completely false. And for us Catholics, unacceptable. Because there's only one true God and only one true religion. And this idea of the, all the religions at an equal level, Christ with Buddha, Muhammad, is a blasphemy against the true God. And it leads people to lose the faith and all faith and become atheists. That's exactly where the U.S. has been heading for, for the last hundred years in the whole West. So <clears throat> we are all lepers. We all breathe in this leprous infection. And we all need to go to the doctor. <clears throat> and St. Augustine says, who is the doctor? Who is our doctor of our soul? It is our Lord Jesus Christ. He's the only one that can cure us. And he gives the solution. One, the humble soul that is grateful to God, that acknowledges God and glorifies God, they receive the grace of God. Our Lord says, go show yourselves to the priests. The priests of the Old Testament could not forgive sins. They could just admit there was a miracle. But the priests of the new law, the New Testament, have received that that power that the Supreme Court doesn't even have and could never have, which is to forgive sins. And that power of the Catholic priesthood to forgive sins pours onto the soul by the absolution the precious blood of our Lord that dissolved the chains, 
that drag that soul to vice and sin and to eternal damnation. And the blood of our Lord heals the soul. That's why confession is, is so powerful. And that's why one of the main targets of the devil was to destroy the sacrament of confession. And you walk into any novice auto church, and just, especially the old ones, just open the confessional doors. They're all storage spaces for mops and brooms and <laughs> extra books. Check for yourself. And that's a great success for the devil. And it's a, it's a, it's a great illusion of the modern man to live without the sacraments. And so the, the Holy Sacrament of Confession is not just a shower to wipe off the mud, but it actually gets into the soul and cures the soul, heals the wounds of sin. And this, these, this is the steps of how to come out of vice.